Hi guys, Sam Cheney here, Application Engineer with CATI. I just wanted to take some time today to talk to you about the new free-to-download VX Viewer. VX Elements Viewer is a free-to-download piece of software that lets you open inspection reports or reverse engineering session files to have a look at the data. You can download it by going to our website, cati.com, and then navigating to our products tab, scrolling down to our Creoform 3D scanning software page, and scrolling down again and clicking on the VX Elements button, and then you'll see the download link around halfway down the page. Simply hit the button, fill the information out, and start using it. So now you know how to download it, let's take a look at how to use it. So VX Elements Viewer is set up very similar to VX Elements. It has the kind of same navigation layout. At the top here, we have our tools. On the left-hand side, we have the details about our inspection report, and we can go through and toggle what we want to see visible and invisible with this little eye icon on the side. At the bottom here, we have some more information about our inspection report, and we can look at if something's within or out of tolerance, looking at the green check or the red X. We can also dig down and look at individual values for each inspection point on the right side here. We can look at individual elements or look generally about the tolerance, the deviation or the tendency. We can control how we want our software to be set up in the configure options menu. In this menu, we can control what language we want it to set as, the theme, and even the units. We can also change how our model is viewed in this display window in the middle. We can do that in the display tab. We can change the glossiness of the material, add a clipping plane, or change how we want the mesh to be displayed. Here I can change it from triangles to triangles in a wireframe so we can see the individual elements. We can also do this with the CAD data as well as the scan data. And we can change the deviation vector multiplier. This will get important when we look at our 2D cross sections. We can rotate the model in 3D and look at it from all angles and even looking at the color map to see how the deviation is spread out along the model. We can add individual deviation callouts wherever we would like, and even add a min and max to see the high and low point of our mesh to CAD comparison. We can change any of these annotations. Uh, we can move the position of them and we can just close them all with a click of a button. We can also look at 2D cross sections if we open it up using the 2D view section here. We can see how the CAD compares to the mesh and that deviation vector multiplier we, I talked about earlier, we can change it here to make the whisker plots a little bit more dramatic. And finally, when we're ready to view our report, we can export the report like so. We can scroll down and edit the report, adding information about our part or our business. We can scroll down and see the inspection report before we export it to PDF or an Excel document. And if we have multiple parts in the inspection, we can switch between the different parts. Once we're happy with our report, we can export that, and we can export it as a PDF or an Excel file or a CSV file. And if we have multiple inspection 
parts in the report that we've exported, we can change which report we want to see by changing which tab we have open. So that's VX Elements. I hope you guys enjoyed this preview of VX Elements Viewer. If you have any questions, you can reach out to uh, somebody at CATI. Thank you. Goodbye.